Hey guys, it's Jennifer. I hope everybody's doing great, amping up for the holiday season. Today I'm going to share my holiday haul with you guys. So excited, so let's jump right in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of break this up into two categories and start with makeup first and then I'll show you everything else. Um, this may end up getting so long that it just has to be divided into two videos. Um, the reason I'm waiting so late in the year, I know I would like to post this a little bit sooner, so if you guys wanted to buy something or order something, you would have time to get it in. Um, but the post office, like everything, there's still some things that I'm just going to have to put a picture up because it's not been delivered, and everything should have been delivered by now. Um, so there's just so many delays that I did the best I could, but unfortunately the delays have meant uh, I, I don't have everything. So let me start with makeup. If the video gets too long, I'll break it up into two parts, but enough of my talking about stuff. Let's look at the first item. All right, so I ordered four eyeshadow palettes this year. Yeah, um, I might have a problem. But there are four brands that I've never tried, and there are four brands that, I mean, I should try. So I'm going to start out with the indie brand, and I'll go ahead and put that on screen, and that's the Sydney Grace. Um, I am so excited. I'm so excited to receive this eyeshadow palette, but it is back ordered and they said it would be shipping the week of December 13th. So I went round and round about this. I knew I wanted to try their formula, but I was torn between the Tiny Marvels and the Enduring Love. And ultimately, I looked at Tiny Marvels and I was like, I do not have any pastels. I do not have any colors like these greens and purples. And that's what pulled me over. So if I love the formula like I think I'm going to, I'm definitely going to be going back in for Enduring Love. Um, but I got a good deal on it. It was 20 20 or 25 percent off I can't remember which um, but like I said I don't have my hands on it yet so I can't swatch anything for you guys can't show you guys but there it is and I'm excited to get it all right so the next order that I placed was from Urban Decay I got two different things there I'll go ahead and show you I got this on sale this was one of their moon dust lippies um, shimmer lipstick is what it's called and it is kind of a metallic formula I do love the packaging it looks kind of like a mascara I love lipsticks like this with like a long tube and I love that um, but here is the color it is a rose gold what is this color called it's called rising and might as well get my swatch and arm ready I was really excited to get this um, because I don't know I just I wanted to try the formula I think it pushed me to free shipping as well um, so I, I wanted to try it and it's really pretty. It's going to be really pretty for the holidays. Uh, I don't wear a ton of metallics, but I think it's a good one to have in your collection because it's so nude and you know, just subtle. All right. The next thing that I got is this little package. So how I got this, this is the major gems. Um, mini palette. So what I was even doing on Urban Decay's website is I was looking for this eyeshadow primer. I've currently been using the Milani eyeshadow primer and it is not working for me. It just, it gets so oily on my lids. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I don't know what's up. Um, but I thought I'd try this one because I've never tried this one. And people were like, oh, it's an oldie but a goodie. Other people were like, it's so overrated. So I don't know. I'll let you guys know what I think. But this is $24. But I could get all of this for, I think it was $24. It was very close to that line anyway. And it's a full size. So I was like, of course I'm going to do that and then get a palette. Um, so here's what the packaging looks like. It'd be really pretty for a gift set. Um, and like I said, I got a good deal on it. It says it's a $49 value. Um, so let me show you. So here's the, the full size eyeshadow primer. Excited to try this. Again, if you like this, let me know what your thoughts are. This is my first time opening it. Oh, I love that it has a doe foot. So that's what that looks like. Again, I know that everybody and their brother has been using this forever and I'm slow to get on the bandwagon. So let me know what you think. Um, then it comes with a Urban Decay waterproof 24 seven glide on eye pencil. I assume this is black and it glides nicely, you know, no big deal. So that was just a bonus. Um, it's always good to have a nice black eyeliner. Not that I don't have a ton, but that one may be better than the other ones I have. But this is so cute. So here's the palette, and I am not going to lie, um, I have swatched this. So just want to let you guys know, I have not swatched all the palettes that I've gotten, but I, I did swatch this because I just couldn't help myself. And also, again, just the packaging in here is really nice. Um, I'm going to save that tin for something. But look at this, how cute. Oh, it's so cute. Um, but the colors just are so pretty. This is a great transition shade for me. I realize it might be different for deeper skin tone people. Um, this is a good darkening shade. And then we have these beautiful shimmers that we can throw right on the lid. So let me swatch a couple of these for you. 
Seems really nice. Now, as I'm swatching these, I'm going to make a confession to you. I have never tried Urban Decay's eyeshadow. I know my sister got very into the Naked palette when it first came out. I just, their colors are so uh, warm tone to me usually that I just have never, never been tempted. So this is my first time testing Urban Decay's formula. I'm gonna tell you, these shimmers are absolutely stunning, but they are not creamy. These are drier, glittery based. You really have to pack them and build them up, which I don't mind. Um, they do kind of have a duochrome shift though, so I'm excited about that, but there you go. Um, so there's the blue and the green and the pink and those, those matte colors. So I think that green is stunning. I think that blue is stunning. I had nothing like that in my collection. So for a bonus for something I was going to buy anyway, this seemed like a no brainer. Also, I just wiped this off and you're not gonna be able to see, but there is a ton of glitter left. So these glittery shades are definitely glittery. Oh, I wish you could see that. Um, especially that liquid lip is also very, very, very glittery. But now my hand literally looks like a Christmas tree. All right, so next item. Next item that I bought is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, also a brand I've never tried. I know. I love makeup and I've never tried Urban Decay and Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah, I know. But the reason I've never tried Anastasia, I know that it's a wonderful formula, but the reason I've never tried it is because the colors are often too warm toned for me. I'm a cool toned gal. I love cool tones. And this palette, the Carly Bible palette, when I saw it, when, when ABH was doing their big sale, I always look, you know, because I know it's a nice formula. Um, and I looked to see, is there anything new, anything I may have skipped over? And I was like, Carly Bible palette, I don't know a lot about that. I don't feel like there was a lot of hype about this palette. I have been using this since I got it for like the last week and a half. I love this palette. The formula is good. It's good. It is. Uh, I have tried formulas that I would say are on par. For example, the Raw Beauty Christie Pure Palette, the Press Pigment Palette. It's on par with this. Um, the shimmers are good, but they do move on me. I'm hoping my new primer will help. But packaging is very nice. Um, the inner packaging, these little balls are actually raised, so it is textured. You can't really tell, but it's only subtle. But I love, love, love this color story. Um, so you got a cool toned row and you got a warmer toned row. Uh, Mandy Leah, is it Lee? Mandy Leah? Leah? I, I don't know, but she, it's M-A-N-D-Y-L-E-A, -E so I guess that's Leah, Man, Mandy Leah. Um, she does seven looks with this palette, and I have been following that. I did today. This is her Berry Halo. Um, I absolutely move my glasses, you guys can see, but I've loved this palette. Um, there's some colors that are just stunning, and then there's some colors that are just amazing. Um, but these cool tone shades, I love them. Like that is my jam. And I think that's harder to find in a palette. Um, so look at those, look at those shimmers. Those are so beautiful. I'm not gonna swatch everything in here, but I thought I'd just grab a couple of shades to show you guys. So it's those mattes, I mean, it's a stunning palette. I really do love it. There's two colors that have PET glitter. I think it's the Bali and the OA. I can't be 100% sure, but I think it is. And you have to be careful with those, obviously. Um, but I, I think it's a stunning palette. I've used, have I used every color? Almost. One color that I haven't used. Um, and it's this pink Aura, Aura right here. But I've used every other color. I haven't opened that brush yet, but I love this palette. I can't imagine that there could be a color story that I could love more. It's really good. Um, so again, Anastasia Beverly Hills, it's my first time. And I realize people go crazy about the Jackiana palette, which I was really, really on the fence about. But at the end of the day, I felt like it was just too warm for me being so fair complected and blue eyed. I just love my cool tone shadows. I don't know what to say. I just love them. But once again, check out the shimmers. Beautiful. All right, the next thing that I want to share with you guys uh, as far as palettes go is I finally did it and placed an order with Pat McGrath Labs. So excited. I have never tried Pat McGrath before. First of all, let me show you what this packaging looks like when you get a Pat McGrath. It's all pretty and wrapped up. And then it comes like this, which as you can see, I haven't opened. I've had this, the shipping on Pat McGrath was really fast and I've had this for a while and I have not opened it. It's a testament to my willpower and self-control. It really is because I just wanted to show you guys the packaging. Packed full of glitter and it's just absolutely beautiful. So what I got is the Mini Lab Feti Mini Lip Fetish Lip Balm Trio. It looks like this. And then I got a very small mini palette. So let me tear into these. Okay, so I have cut these open. Um, first of all, I don't want to get these glitters everywhere, so I actually have an idea about what to do with them. Socks came in this, 
And I'm about to pack it full of glitter and make it an even more unusual Christmas orange. So I tried my absolute best to get that in here and not make a mess and I did not succeed. I spilt it everywhere and I'm gonna tell you right now, if this ever busts open, it's gonna be messy, but it's pretty. Look how pretty. So we will pop that right back on the tree. I don't remember where I got it from, but right here is where it's going to live now. All right, cool. So back to Pat McGrath. So obviously I would really like to purchase a large size, full size palette for Pat McGrath, but I really felt like the smart thing, especially cause it's so expensive, is to try these products first and make sure it's worth the money that it would be to invest in it. So first let me show you the little lippies. Um, I don't want to roll them out too, too much, but that's what how much you get. It's not a ton, but for $13, I imagine, for Pat McGrath, it's probably pretty good. Ooh, that's pigmented. That was surprising right there. That's not what I expected. Um, for, a lip balm, for a lip balm, that's great. Got a nice clear one. And it is just clear with a bit of gloss. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to see that. I love these little lip balms. They're so cute. Look at the little lips. I mean, these are absolutely darling. And there you go. It's that one swatched. So that one's a bit lighter, a bit more natural. But I love these. They're so cute. And they feel really moisturizing. But oh my gosh, those are so cute. So here is the little palette that I got. It was 14 bucks. I know everybody has seen this. Um, but, and I've read a lot of reviews. This comes from other palettes, these colors do. So I feel like it would give me a good idea of, you know, what, what, uh, her formula is going to be like. So there you go. There are the colors. Let me do some swatches of these because I want to feel them. Those shimmers are real good. Ooh. It's like a matte with glitter. It's interesting. These, these shimmers, wow. So obviously this palette, I, I feel like I could use this um, with other palettes, but I also feel like you could uh, use a one swipe color and use this matte, matte-ish. Why do I always do this? I always do this. Um, what looks like straight to me is not straight to you guys. But here you go, you can see the shimmers are really high potency. They kind of didn't feel like what I expected. I don't know, I expected Pat McGrath it to just feel like literally rubbing butter on your arm. Um, but it didn't feel like that. But they were amazing and they were one swipe colors. So you got a gold, a rose gold. Uh, this one on the end, I feel like is kind of matte. It's a shimmer, it's more like a satin finish, I guess. I mean, it, it does look like a metallic, but it's just not very metallic-y. Um, then there's this bronze color, which I really, really like. This one looked red in the pan. It looks red on camera, but swatched. It's like, it's definitely a duochrome. Look at that. Love that. It's like a bronze red. Really like that a lot. So there you go. If you have tried any of these, I would love to know what your thoughts are. I'm all swatched up. Next. Um, we have, I have never ever purchased anything from Signa Beauty. They had a sale and I wanted to try one of the brushes to see if it's worth the hype. So this is the E42 and I have slightly hooded eyes. So I thought this would be a really nice brush for crease detailing and darpening, deepening up the crease. Um, ooh, it is really not, it feels very heavy. I must say, not like super heavy, but heavy enough to feel good quality. Um, there you go. So this is a small brush and just get right in there, build up the outer corner and then, uh, pull into the crease. It's called the Precision Firm Blender E42. Um, I think I got a good deal in it. I think it was like nine bucks or something like that. It's normally like 15. So yeah, there you go. I was excited to try this and I'll let you guys know if it's worth the hype. And I want to show you guys is from Tarte. And um, I was really excited about this. I'm going to talk about this a lot more in a five and five coming up if it hasn't gone out already. So I just want to show you the haul, not talk a whole lot about why I got what I got, but just show you um, so you'll have an idea. So first of all, I got this bronzer. This is their Park Avenue Princess Matte Waterproof Bronzer. Packaging is beautiful. And like I said, you will see this in upcoming five and five. So I'm not going to swatch or anything right now. Um, so keep a lookout for that. And then I got a couple of free things that I wanted to share. I got a packet of their facial oil, which I do actually like. Packet of their cleanser. Um, what else did I get? Okay, so I redeemed some of my points and I got this. This is the Sugar Rush Lip Sip Lip Oil. And when I got this in, I was kind of surprised by how tiny little cute this is. Um, I don't know, I just expected for the points for it to be a bit more. So this is in, I think it was like dragon, dragon fruit, something like that. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on. I love lip oil and lip balm right now. Like it's where I'm at. Look how little. 
Mm, that's cute though. It adds a little berry, berry hint, but it's not overpowering. How cute. It's tiny. Ooh. Tastes and smells like cranberry, so I love that. Um, so yeah, there you go. And they also sent me the happy birthday tartlet. Um, I don't know if I cashed in points for this or I just missed my birthday because I did miss my tart birthday gift. I don't know, but somehow it ended up in this box. And the first thing is a Lights Camera Lashes Mini Mascara. You guys have heard me talk about how much I don't like this mascara, but I do appreciate the mini. So I probably will take this um, on a couple of travels, even though I don't love this formula. Is it weird? Is it just me? But often mascara minis are better than than like the actual mascara. So I'm gonna actually travel with that and see what I think. And then I also got one of their blushes in Quirky. Um, I do like their blushes. I've powered through one of these a couple years ago. It's good. This one is a lot lighter. So this is definitely going to be a spring or summer shade for me. You can see right there, it's got like a nice coral hint to it. All right, so that is part. All right, then I ordered a new concealer, which has not arrived yet. Got it from Nordstrom. Um, they had a great deal going, and it's the Laura Mercier concealer. I put a picture on screen. It just hasn't arrived to me yet. I have never tried it before, so if you have, I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, I'm excited to get that, so I can actually try that. Next thing I picked up was a Milani Clear Brow Gel, and I have used this once. I used this today for the first time. This is clear. I heard it was a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Gel. Um, so far, I can tell you it's not as crispy as Anastasia, but I think it's holding everything in place. So I'll keep testing this and let you know, but it was a good time to get that. And I also got a new gel eyeliner pot from Bobbi Brown. I have not tried that brand before, but everyone raves about it if you like gel eyeliners, which I do. That has also not arrived yet, coming in from Nordstrom. Um, so I'll put a picture of that on screen, which I could show you guys what that product looks like in the packaging, but it hasn't arrived, but there you go. And finally, the last thing that I got, it has not arrived yet because I just purchased it like two days ago. And it is in the new e.l.f. CC Camo Concealer. I also got one of their new Hydrate Balms in Blissful. Put that on the screen. And a couple of free lip glosses came with it. So I'm excited for that. But I am really excited to do that CC cream. And I think I might do a full testing of it. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know. Um, because I'd be interested to see how that holds up during the day. Sorry, editing me here, as they say. Um, so I forgot to do an outro, but please stay tuned. Part two will be coming in a future video, hopefully later this week.